Yeah, I've had urine thrown at me, food thrown at me, hot coffee thrown at me, um, vomit thrown at me, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, been verbally abused, um, saying that we're dumb and we don't know, or saying I'm a fake nurse, or um, just basically saying I, you have no clue, mm -hmm. um, right down to, you know, what I told you about a family member threatening my life. Mm -hmm. And that was over the phone. They didn't even actually do that in person. They did it over the phone, which doesn't make it any easier. The day I walked into work and there was a computer that was in half, a vital sign cart that was in half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was just a patient that I had him the day, day before and he was fine. And then some flip, flipped the switch and got really mad and tore all these things off the wall and yeah. Patients striking staff or threatening to strike staff are commonplace everyday occurrences. It is, it is certainly not something that I thought that I would be dealing with when I took this position. It, I didn't think that this was something that happened in hospitals, most don't. I mean, you think you come here to be, you know, you get better, you heal, you have your surgery, you recuperate, you go home. And it's, it's so much more than that. Um, so much more than that. It's, it is, um, not something that is mainstream until recently. People just don't talk about it. And I think that it's good that it's starting to be talked about and reported so that we can make some good moves to change the culture and the mindset of this is not okay. This is not a part of your job to get hit on by a patient and, and get struck and have to deal with the verbal abuse. I think behavioral health cases have become increasingly and then, and then when you put COVID on top of that, it just makes everything worse. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Because people are unfortunately having to wait to get care because of just the burden of patients and not having beds. We're in the business of helping people. You know, we want, we want the environment to be safe and healing and a place to go when stuff's going wrong. And the staff, go to school for years to do this. This is their dream job, to treat patients and get them better. And they're unfortunately coming to work now and you know they, they run a high probability of getting assaulted at work. And it's unfortunate, but that's where we're at. And you know, there are nurses that are so frustrated with it that they're leaving the field. You know, they don't wanna they don't wanna deal with that patient because it's you know, he, he assaults people. You know, it's it's frustrating for everybody involved because of the rock and the hard place that staff is in. They have they wanna treat their patients and they wanna make them better, but if they go into that room they're gonna get assaulted. So it it creates a very hard place for them to want to do their job and to want to be the best nurse they can for some people if that patient rewards their best efforts by punching them in the face. I mean, it's, it's a really, really difficult situation that staff is in right now. It's really difficult. I think I, I have not seen a plateau or a downswing on it at all. And sadly, the violent part seems to overshadow sometimes mm -hmm. The, the great patients, the grateful mm -hmm. patients and their families and the respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we know it's there, mm -hmm. but we'd love to see a little bit more of it and a little less of the violence and, and recognition that we're human. I, I, I can't stress that more and that we're here to care for them.